check first? No. You want to do a sound check? No need. Uh, okay, take a look at Welcome to the Asian Oceanic Beach Ultimate Championships here in Shirahama, Wakayama, Japan. We're in the mixed division, bronze medal game. Thank you for joining us if you just tuned in. This is India versus the Australian Hammerheads, the Masters team who beat the, the Mud Crabs, the, the regular mixed team for Australia, and a goal for India. Salim Grant alongside Sofia Pereira. Great stand of the game so far. It is incredibly windy. Strong cross shore breeze at the moment, but uh, both teams doing incredibly well in this win. Sophia, how are you getting on this morning? Uh, it's great to see. First of all, good morning to everybody. It's great to be here in beautiful Shirahama. And incredible to see how well this squad from India has adjusted to the wind from the game yesterday. Tough loss yesterday in the semis, and they've really adjusted their play. They're playing incredible ultimate. We've seen them do some sky-high defenses, a couple of amazing defenses. Two breaks already for India, I believe. They're doing very well. The score is right now 5-3 for, for India in this game against the experienced master team from Australia, the Hammerheads. Yeah, I believe the score is 5-3 to India at the moment. Just one break in this game. That is a fantastic pull. You can see how windy it is, folks. A strong wind coming towards the camera, kind of strong onshore stormy wind. The main showcase field is currently somewhat submerged. The showcase field is, uh, at this point, trying to be fixed so that we can hold the finals there. There's some water pumping going on, I believe. Unfortunately, the sea came in yesterday this during this game during the India game I mean and they're still trying to fix it so that we can hold the finals there now is Australia on offense this Indian team struggling yesterday in the wind but have adjusted well just got her hand on it unfortunately the wind did not make that easy great positioning great put of the disc but We've actually, we were just discussing how little turnovers we've been seeing in this game compared to what we were expecting in these conditions. Both teams are playing very well. So India with the disc now, a chance to break, but a low pass gives Australia a short field. And there is Damani, who played a fantastic game in the quarterfinal, does just so. This is his game, folks. Windy conditions need great throws. He's got them. But yeah, India still in the lead by one point now, 5-4. India looking very energized in this game. One of the things that most impressed me yesterday in that uh, difficult game for them, even though it was a great loss, they did have a four point in a row comeback in the middle there, is their positivity. This team is always very positive, very supportive of each other. And you can see they're all standing there supporting the five that are on the line to make this of offensive point. Australia's putting on some height there. Australia has some height. The whole squad is quite tall. Someone who's really impressed me for India in the, this opening of the game was Amani, number one. One of their female players caught a great goal going upwind, very tall. And uh, there'll be three men on the line for this point. And that is exactly the pull you want to do in this crosswind. Landed in bounds, rolling aside. Very difficult place to take it up, but Sangi gets the first pass off to Sivaraman, who's going to jack it deep. Two else but Rocket, and that one is a goal. That was such a pretty put disc. 
That was just using the conditions, using the wind, laying that disc out, using the speed of the receiver. That was amazing. Yeah, that point that you were discussing just earlier was an incredible point. I would say one of my highlights of the week. He just put that, he first, if I, if I recall correctly, he just first defended it and then threw a whole field-wide disc into the corner of the end zone for a point. That was an incredible, and this, again, incredible playing by India, really connecting well with each other, not making the mistake of trying to play too much of a cross-field handler reset in this unforgivable wind. It's coming in from the sea quite hard. I would say about 40 kilometers an hour right now. It's quite hard wind. This pull is going to go out. Any, any edge you don't put on that disc, you got to pretty much throw it into the sand to stop it ballooning out the side of the field. So this will be taken from the brick mark. And it is John Damiani. Hope I'm saying that right. With the disc. Pretty much most of the uh, hammerheads here going for the sleeveless jersey. Getting some good tans this weekend. The Australian teams with the guns out. And this is good defense thing from India. Try and make Australia throw lots of swing passes, short passes. Every throw very difficult in this wind. And that is a beautiful high arching backhand into the wind. Very difficult to execute. Now a cross field pass. Gathered up by Ellie Seckold. I believe India called a foul defense called a foul on the offense when he tried to break across the field she's saying from what I see she's saying that he hit her and they're just discussing it and this is one of the beautiful things of this game they've come to an agreement to not agree he does not think he called a foul she thinks he called a foul you see this two on two here Damiani against Sneha So the retain possession, Australia looking for the end zone. Those swings, that is the throw you want to force Australia to make and it does it so well. They're incredibly brave at throwing in this wind. And they're and a top masses team for a reason. That's right, saved by, we've seen a lot of these throws saved by the women. They've been amazing receivers whenever the wind does its thing and makes that disc do crazy dances, what a great point. And that is a great goal for Armstrong, the spirit captain of this Australian team, originally from the US. And that makes it now 5-6 with India in the lead by one point. Australia's responding really well to the speed. Very nice zone D here. They, they contained this quite well saved by the woman player in the corner there. That was a hard disc to put across the field. Great. Great game so far. Great level of play. You would never say that the conditions are as they are right now. Australia discussing how they're going to get this, this break. If they can get this break and even it up, that would be a significant advance for them. So in these windy conditions, you always got to talk about technique of pull. You just want to make sure it lands inbounds. And that is a perfect example of how to pull in these conditions. Blade it into the end zone. Sangi to Siva. Sangi, one of the top handlers for India. And uh, I say before the game, maybe don't throw any swings, but <laughs> she obviously wouldn't listen to me and I wouldn't blame her. She's been executing every throw to perfection. Both teams very, very brave in this win. A lot of teams are just trying to huck it and play D, but they're playing ultimate. And beautiful ultimate they are playing, Liam. Siva looking downfield. Ramakrishnan, Amani, Siva, 
Uh, it's a beautiful cross field pass. Sangi can't total line, but it gets a nice pass for the goal. India textbook offense. Now up 7 5. What beautiful offense. Really nice. At this point, India has been able to put the disc wherever they want it. Upwind, downwind. So we're now at halftime. Here, a very active sideline on that uh, point. Lots of support from their own teammates. And here we are in beautiful Sherhaba for the first day. We're actually seeing a break on these waves in this ocean. Yeah, not quite surfable waves, unfortunately. Bit nope. of a short dump, but yeah, a little wilder in the ocean today. Off the coast of Shirahama. So it will be three women for both teams at the moment. The first game of the day of finals of the WFTF AOBUC 2019 Asian Oce Oceanic Beach Ultimate Championships in association with Bula here on field five as the main field gets pumped away, the water gets pumped away from the main field, hopefully for finals later on today. This is a bronze for those of you who are just coming in now. India and Australia, Hammerheads, a master's team from Australia. Rocket with the disc, looking for Sneha. Trying to get the give go, now the shot to the middle of the field. Sangi. Brilliant goal to Sneha, the AO All-Star connection there. Sangi to Sneha. Amazing mixed beach ultimate. Every single player counts, doing amazing. That was an amazing pass between the two women from India. In that corner, looked like there was absolutely no wind, which there was a strong wind. Beautiful sidearm by Sangi and assisting. We see her do a lot of backhand, actually. It's, uh, that was a really, really nice sidearm right into the corner. So yeah, India really struggled in the wind and rain in the semi-final yesterday. I don't think it fully prepared for what kind of ultimate they needed to play, but today they're looking in tip-top shape, very sharp throwing. Have had a lot of no turnover points in this incredibly windy field. I have no doubt that they learned a lot from that game yesterday. They do a bit of, uh, also they, they t tend to take advantage of a bit of the really, really fast, deep cutters. And yesterday the wind just didn't allow for that. It just the disc came down. And the experience of the Japanese team at home was just impossible to break. Those IOs from Japan were just impossible to shut down. Australia on offense now. Keeping possession. Now Greenfield with the disc. Looks to send it deep. And Rocket makes a great defensive play. I think it might be a foul called. Oh no, no, no call made. No call, he was thinking about it and re decided that there was, this is, that it was not a foul. This is the third time that we see in this game, at least the third time, India skying the tall Australian squad on D. And not even the speedy Pavin Kumar rocket can chase that one down. Definitely have the speed advantage over the Australians, but possibly the Australians have a little more experience. That's right. This Australian team has had a lot of experience.
as we can tell by their beautifully connections between them, huh? He's looking for that pass. That was an unfortunate end first drop. Oh, an incredible D on Rocket. So it's an uncontested strip. Good discussion between Rocket and Greenfield. for the high release backhand that one just catching the wind and trailing out got tempted into that pass we were expecting to see much much more of that throw into the wind and then the wind throw it out of bounds than we have seen and Australia gets a chance for a much needed point with India in a three point lead in this bronze medal game first game of the day today here we go looks like a foul called Pensity ran with the disc it's gonna go back I believe that was an injury call and as we can see it's an injury call and the I can't see who it is there's a substitution of one of the men from Australia due to an injury. Yeah, Greenfield coming off and being replaced by Julian Sakri. Replace height with height. Patrick. And deep shot now from Australia. What a nice grab. What a nice grab. And the substitute Sakri now on the disc, putting one across the veil into space. And that was a great goal for Australia. Didn't that look pretty? Well, that substitution was definitely a fortuitous one. That was awesome. Now 6-8. with India in the lead and Australia trailing very, very closely behind. It's still anybody's game. We've seen both teams play some great beach ultimate. And speaking of beach ultimate, this is the first WFDF Asian Oceanic Championship. However, there was one 10 years ago, a Bula event in Boracay with many less teams. And one of the things that for me these four days have been a showcase of is the growth of Beach Ultimate in the last decade. It's been an honor for me personally to experience Asian and Oceanic Beach Ultimate and get to know some incredible athletes, incredible people, and to watch some amazing Beach Ultimate. Rami Krishnan to Raghu. Nice up the line to Vishnu, better known as Box. From stall seven, throws one to the end zone, trying to thread the needle. Difficult throw to execute. It was actually a very nice throw. I think a miscommunication between the receiver. I didn't think she was expecting that at all. And unfortunately, a turnover. Fortunately for Australia, they do get a chance to put that score on the board. We're going to be hearing lots of support on defense from India on the sideline, I'm sure. Chance now for Australia to break, and they jack it deep straight away, but as Ragu catches that one. Now box. Puts the swing up. Oh, two players going for it. But it will stay alive for India. Managing to play a cross field in this wind. 
Just throws put a, a floaty, ooh. Floaty one up to Manny, but oh, almost Rahul getting there. He almost grabbed that. So Australia with the disc again now, trying to break here. Claw back a few points against this Indian side. And the disc now gets sent to the end zone. Oh, and it's on the money, but dropped, unfortunately. Oh, unfortunately, that was a wind strip straight out of the two hands of the receiver. That was an unfortunate wind strip. Well put, disc. Yeah, in fairness, couldn't have thrown it any better. Morrow couldn't hold on to it. We haven't seen as many of those, yeah. Drops in the wind, the bobbles, as I would have thought. Incredibly windy, maybe 40 knots or so at the moment. Still quite pleasant out though, sunny and warm. Or at least warm by Irish standards. Box with the disc now. Has to throw across the field to Sangi. <laughs> Rahul has gone deep, she's going to put it Look up. Look at that. Willis won, oh, and it just bobbles up and drifts too high. We saw that dish just be taken up towards the end before it landed out of bounds. It looked like it was going straight for him, and then up it went and out of bounds. So again, Australia, this is the f probably the longest point of the game. I don't know, I think it seemed the longest yeah, point of the game. expecting a few more of these marathon points. Australia taking their time to get the disc and put it back into play. It's a bit of a long point. It's never a bad idea to let your receivers catch their breath and set up. We see a side stack again. We've seen this a couple of times this weekend. Booth, the captain for Australia, swings it to Roxburgh. Great hands from Emma Booth. Now the deep shot comes. And Morrow ho hangs on to it this time, looking for the end zone. One player isolated. Can't get that throw off quite yet. Now the Indian defense is there. Booth. And a bladey shot to the end zone. Will be competing. That is a great goal. Height winning up in that. That was great. Way to keep that disc alive. We saw almost the same throw. But Sabrina managed to catch it and keep it that time. Pass it on. Scoring that point. Now 7-8. Just one behind Australia. In, the, in a great high level beach ultimate game, first game of the day today. We've seen some great games today, Liam. So next I believe we have the mixed. I think it's the bronze medal game in the women's division. Oh, it is the bron bronze game in the middle. We are watching the mixed, of course. Yeah, watching mixed now. So that'll be Singapore women against Philippines women. In the women's final, it'll be an all Japanese affair with the Veggie Griffins taking on the national side. We saw Singapore Philippine women yesterday, the game. Singapore taking the, the win unexpectedly by a lot of people. So we'll get a chance to see them spar up again. I'm looking forward to that one too, but I am enjoying this one. Great game. Sangi to Siva. Now to Rocket. Siva's gonna put that one up, blading and a great, oh! Tip oh, defense, but stays in the air, goes back to Sangi. Unlucky from Australia, has a goal from Rocket. The Sangi-Rocket connection, can't shut that down. 
when you have a great thrower and a great receiver with a huge amount of speed. That was a really quick response to that turnover. Incredible play. Alex Ryan got his hands on the disc, but with this wind, he touched it kind of towards the wind side and just had up there for Rocket to be able to catch it on the second attempt. That wind kept that disc alive. Do you have any of those memories in your beach ultimate career and ultimate career that you think, oh, why didn't I catch that G? I think we all have one of those that you smack it and then it goes straight into the hand of your, your, who you're defending. It's just the, the most frustrating feeling. Yeah, I think Alex Pensley ran a little, be a little disappointed. That was almost at his chest. He probably could have tried to get two hands on that or at least swipe out a little more theatrically. But uh, bobbles back up in the air. Almost an easy catch for Rocket in the end. Might have even made it easier for Rocket in the end. Lots of great energy in this game. I wonder how many of, uh, actually, a lot of the Indian squad was at the party from the Masters team last night. We had a great party in Shirahama. First at the hotel until nine, and then at the blue bar and the springs in front of the blue bar um, until very late. We and the winds just picked up ever so slightly here on the beach in the last minute or two. We'll see, that is a uh, fantastic pull given the conditions. Most importantly, not bricked. Oh, and Sneha reads that play well. Unfortunately, the Australian player not even realizing she's been thrown to. Steve had to rock it. Want to get the continuation, looks like it's a foul on the mark. And that turnover, I think Ellie still had her back and was running. You can see a little bracket play by the Australians in the end zone there. One defender taking the open side, one taking the break side. And now the little isolation for Praveen Kumar Rocket, the airborne player, I believe Australian champions out of Chennai. Been scoring a lot of these, a lot of points in this game, Rocket. Yeah, rivals in the club division, uh, Siva Raman and Praveen Kumar, playing with Fly Wild, I'm pretty sure, and Airborne, respectively. Both out of Chennai. This is all going off memory now. I don't have my uh, stat sheet with me, but. Yeah, when it comes to the national team, they're back to being friends, no longer rivals, and playing incredibly well together. Indian Ultimate has just grown hum immensely. Yesterday, just chatting with some of the squad from the Indian Masters team, that there's around 10,000 players at this point in India. That's pretty impressive. Oh, and that pull just landing out of bounds. Ganesh, he actually had a practice run up and had to go back for a second attempt just to practice swinging his first one. But his actual pull does just land maybe a yard out of bounds. And that is a big 50 meters given the conditions. The wind is definitely helping Taking that disc out of bounds in those 15 meters may help this offensive line to score that point. I feel a bump of the mark on Cadet's the foul. Very quick resolutions of any stoppages that have occurred in this game. And now the cut comes from Barnes. Amy Barnes having a great tournament, getting high in the stall counts. A nice upline shot. Now a shot to what's this man doing? John in the end zone. I've never seen him in there before. What is going on? That might be his first goal of the tournament. 
John Damiani, usually in the handler position, somehow finds himself in the end zone. That was a great point. I just love when handlers do that sometimes. Just strike deep. Defense doesn't expect it. Knew exactly what he's doing. Disc was well put to him. 10-8 now, or 8-10, with India in the lead by two. Australia putting on a really strong D-line. Want to get that break at this point. Big support for both teams here at the event. Aus Australian um, mixed teams here in support, the Motocrabs and uh, Giddy Up, along with their men's and women's team in support. India have their mixed masters team as well on the sideline. So good representation from both teams. And this is a hopeful hawk to the end zone. But you can always count on Steve Rahman to read it down. Gets the high five from Amani. That was a very nice angle on that disc. It went straight in exactly to where he wanted to go, straight into the hands for that point. And that looks like it's game to India. They win a bronze medal for themselves. Fantastic performance. Unlucky not to be in the final in the end. Fair play to the Hammerheads. They've been fantastic of the, I believe, three Aussie teams in this division. They finished top, beating the Mud Crabs. And a fourth place is a fantastic uh, award in itself. You bet. We have some. So the mixed and the, the Masters. There is no Masters division, so we have some Masters teams playing in the mixed division. For a Masters team to make it to fourth is, in, is a well done. You can see them cheering on each other, having really enjoyed this game. A well-deserved win by India. Who could have been in the finals, perhaps if the semis hadn't been so windy. On the other hand, this, in, this squad from India has learned to deal with that wind as they showed us on this game. That's a very quick learning from the last game they had yesterday to the first game today. They played beautiful D, beautiful O. Both teams played beautiful D and beautiful offense. It was great to watch. Actually gave me energy for the rest of the day. So we'll leave it there, folks. Liam Grant alongside Sofia Pereira. Congratulations to India for winning the bronze medal. We'll be back with the women's bronze medal game shortly. Thank you very much. Thank you.